ladies, I wanted to talk to you for a moment today about research questions. The research question is one of the first things you need to do for your extended essay to really get you started. And a good research question is going to be your guide throughout the entire process. So what makes a good research question? I've got three main points that I want you to remember. The first is that a good research question will lead to analysis, not description. I think this is the most important tip for you to remember. All good high scoring extended essays are going to have um, original analysis in them. You need to be analyzing your evidence, whatever form that takes for your subject, and coming up with your own ideas about your research question. It is not enough to just describe what other people have found and what you have learned in your research. And that is one of the biggest mistakes people make is not having enough analysis. History is a big place where this can, um, where this can be a problem for people. They are interested in a historical event. They have a question about it, but the question is easily answerable with facts and summary of the historical events. That's not yet a good research question. You need to be doing analysis. That can be tricky. No matter what subject you're in, your mentor is going to be an excellent person to help you figure out how to make sure you're crafting a question that is going to lead you to analysis and not just description. The second tip I have for you is that you need to make sure your research question is researchable and researchable within the bounds of what you have available to you. For example, um, you have a huge library of resources available to you through the internet, um, through databases like JSTOR, through our university libraries. But let's say you want to do research on sea turtles. We don't live near the ocean you're not gonna be able to do any um, first-hand research about sea turtles. Everything you're going to do is through secondary research. Um, let's say um, you're Alice Walker and you wanna find out more about Zora Neale Hurston. When Alice Walker did that, she went to the place where Zora Neale Hurston lived and searched out where Zora Neale Hurston's grave was, even though it had been lost for ages. I'm guessing that in your senior year of uh, high school, you are not going to be able to take a research trip. So you need to find a question that's researchable within what you've got. Um, that also applies to things that are too specific. If you want to research um, the perception of all girls schools in Toledo, Ohio, that's so specific that while you might be able to design an experiment and collect data on that, there's not gonna be a lot that's already out there for you. So everything you'd have to do would be um, original research and that's an overwhelming task. That's probably, again, not something you want to do during your senior year of high school. Manage your time appropriately. Pick a topic that is doable and researchable with what you have in front of you. As you consider that, make sure you're thinking about the guidelines that your subject area has. For example, original experiments are strongly encouraged in biology, but um, actually not allowed in psychology. Okay, so making sure that you understand what the guidelines and the rules are for what types of uh, research you do, and making sure you have those resources at your disposal. Don't set yourself up for failure. The third and final tip is that your research question needs to be clear and focused. Anyone reading your research question should have a very um, clear and precise understanding of what you're trying to do and to some degree how you're going to go about doing it. Don't let it be too broad. The Civil War is too big of a topic. It's not a question. Um, you need to get narrow and very precise so that as you do your research and your analysis, you can give um, nuanced and complex analysis of that instead of trying to cover a huge amount of content. 
you need to cover a small precise amount of content and a small precise question with a lot of depth. If you've got questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask. 